Hey guys, welcome back to Nier Automata. Welcome back. Uh, I'm super stoked to be playing this again because I feel like I feel like we're, we're, we're it's close to some of the answers. The last time we played, we got ending D. Um, so if you uh, are just watching uh, the VOD or or live for the first time and you don't know endings A and B um, and ending D, uh, we're going to be talking about those openly. So watch out for spoilers on that. Um, so that's, that's your warning, because I'm about to start right now. Uh, last week, um, or, uh, was it last week? It was just a couple days ago, maybe. Uh, we got ending D, and the pertinent pieces of information that we learned, right? So there's, Yorha was, had a, had a sort of planned obsolescence built in. There was a whole plan, unbeknownst to the commander, even, of the Yorha bunker, that at some point, just all of Yorka could be wiped out. The implication being that they could be replaced with a newer model of Android, which I think, or it, it makes it seem like there's a new, that that wiping out Yorha is both not a new thing, nor is it a, 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 a unexpected. Uh, we also found out, uh, uh, we, we kind of got double confirmation that yes, humanity itself is extinct. And it was either before humanity went extinct or, or, or sometime shortly after that all the data on humanity was uploaded to the moon, to the server on the moon where, where supposedly humanity lives. And I guess on some case that's true. Um, but I also think that was not humanities data either it was like the replicant data uh we, we've talked before about the whole replica and gestalt thing uh near automata talks about talks a bit about that too um what else what I, oh the huge structure that that showed up in the middle of the city that is uh that they, they originally think it looks like a I mean, it does look like a tower they originally think it looks like a weapon meant to like a railgun shoot something at the moon to destroy all the the data from the humans on the server on the moon but that's not the case that is actually an arc to send data from the machines out into space to hopefully one day find another intelligent form of life uh now granted we know that aliens exist so that's not crazy but there's still a lot of answers we don't we we don't have we don't really know what the machines are because the lore of the story is that when the aliens came down and we did see the aliens bodies uh, that when the aliens invaded that they brought the machines with them uh we also saw we, so we don't know when we fought adam and eve their whole thing was like oh we've been around this whole time and we just we killed the aliens well why would the machines do that what are the machines then because we've seen that they have organic functions they can eat other machines they can androids on some level uh uh, uh what else i am it i'm yeah it, it's 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 wackadoo and and there are just there are just a few things that i still need because i don't i don't oh, totally get it so reggie 33 asks so are the people in the resistance camps androids yes they are every everybody's an android everybody's an android i think okay so oh well, that's a good question Hold on, that's that's a that's a really good question, because that's actually not really answered. Because this game takes place, I'm gonna say this game takes place about ten thousand years after. It's either it's six to ten thousand years after the original near replicant and, and Gestalt games. And in that time, or probably by the time that first game starts, humanity has been extinct. And so we know that androids were created to facilitate the the replicant and gestalt projects which would uh, uh take the gestalt of humanity the soul and put it into replicants which are physical bodies that were immune to the disease that was killing killing the species at the time but we don't actually uh, and we do find out um especially in 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 the sort of little novel that we read for popola and devila who by the way died and we're not the original but we're like a 
newer model of, po of Popola and Devola. I, they're either an older or newer model of Popola and Devola compared to the first game. But you find, we found out um, that the Replicant Project in, uh, I think they call it another town, but basically in the town where, where near one takes place in, that that project to sort of mass um, migrate gestalts into the replicants, the, the human souls, into these uh, body, the, these physical bodies that had gained their own sentience was unsuccessful. And so, uh, thusly, all of the Popola and Devla models were sort of scorned. But then the question is, who is scorning Popola and Devla, right? Is it the humans that successfully got their gestalt put into replicants? Was it the remaining humans? Was it other androids? Because we do we we've been able to tell androids can think and feel. It actually uh, maybe it was I think it was androids because basically Popola and Devola in that town failed their task, which is why the two that we see in this game are, are basically going town to town. And, and so back to the question of who are the people in the resistance camps. I mean, I think the idea is that they are androids, but they're not your hot androids. I think that makes the most sense because we know Pop Popola and Devola seem human-like, but they're not your ha necessarily. They are a part of the, uh, the, the, the council of humanities whole, Gestalt plan. They were observers for the Gestalt project. But a lot of that a, a lot of that just leaves us with with no answers. And that's 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 something that I hope ending C can fill in a little bit, and then there the other big ending is ending E. Um and I don't know how long that that will take. Because I know there's big stuff there too. Um so so uh, to, to, to round up uh, the recap, at the end of ending D, we went with um, with 9S's side uh, to try to destroy A2, and two, two, two things came out of that. Uh, 9S found out that A2 found out, or knew, that 2B was actually a plant. Uh, 2B's mission wasn't necessarily to just be an assault android, but uh, her designation was was kind of a lie. She's not supposed to be two. She she's a she looks like 2B, but she is actually 2E, which is an executioner, Yorha unit, which means that. And this makes one one thing actually that this actually closes the loop on one thread, that 2B slash 2E. Um, part of their purpose is to destroy 9S units. Um, that's kind of why we see that's kind of why we see 9S be choked to death by, a, by, by 2B. Um, that probably also explains what happens between the A and B endings and the C and D beginning where Supposedly, 9S's consciousness exists in this 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 local intranet of machines near where he dies. And if it's and if 2B's job is to destroy 9S, then then that's probably what she did. And so they started back up on the bunker, and he didn't know anything. And and so that she, you, you, there's also the line that she says about you know it's it's always hard doing this or it's never easy doing this and what she's referring to is her objective of, of killing 9s the other thing that we learned or the other thing that happened rather is that 9s uh in his last sort of moments after he had killed two a2 but a2 had also killed him basically in the same sort of conclusion to that fight um, had the option to upload his consciousness into the Ark, the machine's Ark, and we chose to do that. And Adam, I think Adam and Eve were on that Ark, along with other machine 
souls. I, I wonder if Pascal could be could have been there. And um, it, you know, if we chose to kill Pascal rather than wipe Pascal's memories, uh, I think I think that could could be a, a thing. But but we chose to go there and to I guess the other choice we could have was also to be nice or not. So Reggie 33 says, was Tubi going rogue? Because she started feeling for 9S. That's right, before she died um, at the hands of A2. Another thing that we kind of don't have all the answers on. You know, she calls out for 9S and she calls him 9s. Uh, or no, or does she do that the second time they go to the castle? She calls him 9s at some point. And she does get feelings for him. But, I mean, I think all the androids do get feelings. But I think it's just... Yeah, I don't know because because her death wasn't in 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 service of killing 9S, right? They had done the the huge assault against the machines and they were overrun. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So, um with that said, we are going to uh jump into Near Automata. Uh, let me turn. Oh, let me turn the sound back on. There we go. So we're gonna continue. We also got a bunch of extra features at the end of of ending D. We could do like a uh, like a challenge mode and all sorts of. Um, we got chapter select. We got a dug debug room where we could set up enemies. Um, I want to do chapter select. Because I, I kind of want to... I, I, I'd like to, to do the, the battle again. Just take it from this battle here. But instead of going with 9S, going with, with A2 and seeing if... Uh... Oh, it was a question mark. So I wonder if you're able to choose perspective on that too. And this was not a very long or terribly difficult final final battle. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one... That's another thing we don't know, is like, what is Yorha's purpose then if humanity was already extinct? Sorry. Never learn the truth. We were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander, me, to be sacrificial lambs, all of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Not Nine -S. exactly. We Shut up! You killed to be. That's all we need to kill each other. <laughs> to be hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the Nine S type is a high end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually, but the model designation 2B was just a cover. The official designation is 2E, number two type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal, cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be Pod irrational. Pod 153, and... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2.
the ending, also the ending of, of ending D had this shot at the end of, of what looked like 9S's sword and his little backpack that we just saw. But if A2 dies in this battle, then who, who made that, who makes that tribute? Anyway. Oh shit, he can hack me. Reduced due to hacking activity. Proposal destroyed. Okay, so someone was saying I can Why do I use that? Your high unit 9S. Damn it. Oh, he can hack me. I have to counter hack. Oh, wow. This is totally different from how you fight. From how you fight, uh, as, 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 as nine as. That's great. No, 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 no. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Come on, fight, fight, fight. Fuck, fuck. Uh, this is, I like, I like this. I like sort of being uh, surprised with this. There we go. Thankfully, it's not. Some of the harder. Oh, it's screwing with the audio, too. Oh, got it. Oh. This is now. Pod, we're going to repair 9S's logic circuits. Acknowledged. Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, pod. You know that? At the end of the fight, as 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 a uh, nine S, you just go into the to the whole death thing. Take care of 9S. What of you, A2? I've still got something I need to do. You go ahead. Acknowledge. Still in nine us? Huh. 
I'm sorry. I never quite realized how beautiful this world is. I'm coming, everyone. I'm coming. Is that her? I don't, I don't know if that's her uploading her consciousness to the pod or to the ark or. Oh, we can't skip this one. Our mission to oversee oh. the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Project Yorha. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing deletion of all data. Pod 153 to pod 042. Data noise present in stream. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Am Personal I? data for units 9S, 2B, and appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Pod 153 to pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. <laughs> the destruction of all Yorha units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. <gasps> pod 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? Yes. What the f <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <gasps> the defense program has initiated a purge. Oh. If this continues, our consciousness data will likely be deleted. Pod 042 to pod 153. We were created to execute the android's Project Yorha plan. We had no capacity for emotion. But when we six were connected and exchanged information, something happened. I cannot deny the feeling of something resembling consciousness and emotion being born. Unable to reply. Perhaps we now understand that not everything has to have an answer. Ah! What, uh, oh, okay, this, this is cool. This is not... Thing that I thought would happen.
I, I don't, what, huh? <gasps> the, the credits coming down from the top is then, is the pods deleting the data. Oh my God. Which is why the A, why the, the, uh, the A and B endings have it going up. Oh my. So, I guess these are like defensive things from, from 153 to protect the data stream. Japanese one. Oh, it's getting more difficult now. Programmers, oh. Once we get to those fucking playtesters, we're gonna have a problem. Uh, Geocache says, would I recommend this game? Yes, I would. And if you haven't played it yet, and you don't know what's happening, you should turn the stream off and find someone else because I'm doing something very, very late game.
Big Cinemail says English translations of Japanese lyrics are not good. Uh, my understanding is that the woman who wrote uh, all of the lyrics, including the fake futuristic language uh, versions of the game, uh, is both uh, bilingual and wrote all the different versions. But she didn't sing it. I think she only sang... She might have sang... sang no, she didn't sing the Japanese, but she sang the futuristic version. Wait, did it knock us back? I remember seeing Shirogami Inc. already. Yeah, we, uh, it knocked me back. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it's all the way. Uh, yes, I am sure of Oh, that was bad. Oh, this is not good. Ah! Oh, it got it! Oh, it still got hit! Alright, we got the testers now. Received. Do you accept defeat? Whoa. To be a 9S put their lives on the line. For that purpose, never surrender. Same, keep going. I would have my share of hardship in any case. We've got this. If you give up, you're done for. At least don't give up here. Oh my god, this character is 
spiders! No! Never! Rescue offer received. Oh god, Libby's date has been lost. to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. That is what we believe. Pod 153 to Pod 042. How is it going? I am embarrassed. Why is that? I launched a suicide attack, and yet, here I am, still alive. I must look very silly. Do not feel bad about it. We are alive, after all. And being alive is pretty much a constant stream of embarrassment. That concept is a bit too abstract for me to understand at this time. I will save it in my list of things to analyze later. Question, Pod042. Did the data salvage restore all of their past memories? Yes. And are those recovered parts of the same design as previous ones? Yes. Then, won't that simply lead us to the same conclusion as before? I cannot deny the possibility. Oh my god. Uh, the possibility of a different future also exists. A future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. Fuck. No. No. View the final credits, achieve AT's ending. 
Pod one five three to player. Fuck. Please respond to this query. Fuck you. Do you, faithful player, have anything you would like to say to other players who are suffering because they cannot finish near automata? Fuck you. F fuck you. Oh my god. The bullets rain down with unpause. In other words... I'm in your corner, USA. Fuck you! Fuck you! F fuck you! I... Fuck! Pod 042 to player. Please respond to this query. You, faithful player of this title, have lost your life multiple times to make it this far. You have faced crushing hardship and suffered greatly for it. Do you have any interest in helping the weak? Yes. Selecting this option enables you to save someone somewhere in the world. Oh, shit. However, in exchange, you will lose all of your save data. Do you still wish to rescue someone, a total stranger, in spite of this? Understood. Returning to title screen. Fuck you. I know what this is. We're going to come back to this. We have to come back to this now. But fuck you. <laughs> I... It... We're going to load in and, and just play around and see if... Maybe maybe we'll find a, a non-spoilery guide to finding more endings. But... But, um... Oh, you can see quest progress. Oh, shit. Um, but there is, I know what happened. Oh my God. We, uh, 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 fuck. We just, we have to load in somewhere. We just have to load in somewhere and it doesn't matter where. It's all a fucking test. It's a test. Hold on, we, we got some intel, but it's a fucking test. Machine research report. While the machine life form network was destroyed following the collapse of the tower, a great deal of previously unknown information regarding machine life forms and aliens was recovered from the wreckage. As part of this analysis, we compiled research and conjecture regarding both the machine life form network and the life form codename N2, commonly known as the Red Girls, that was thought to have been commanding them. Machine lef life forms are weapons created by the aliens. The only command given to them, given for their behavior, was to quote defeat the enemy. However, it appears that their capacity for growth and evolution went too far, and they eventually turned on and killed their creators. At this point, machine, rec machine life forms recognized that the goal of defeating the enemy actually required an enemy. In order to maintain this singular objective, they reached the contradictory conclusion that their current enemies, the androids, could not be annihilated completely lest they no longer have an enemy to defeat. In order to resolve this inherent contradiction, the machine life forms began to intentionally cause deficiencies. Fuck me. Uh, 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 began to intentionally cause deficiencies in their network, diversifying the vectors of evolution for all the machines. This is the cause behind some of the more special machine life forms, such as Pascal and the Forest King. Meanwhile, the deficient network became 
yeah. Meanwhile, the deficient network began repeating a process of self-repair while incorporating surrounding information until it finally reached a fixed state as a new form of network. Traces of information regarding human memories from the quantum server of the old model were discovered, indicating that it had integrated them during the final stages of its growth process. Said server contained a record of the discarded Project Gestalt, as well as the information on the human who was the first successful example of the Gestalt progress. That was Yona. Having acquired information regarding humanity, the network structure changed once more, becoming what might better be called a meta-network, or a concept, to borrow the words of machines. This led directly to the formation of the ego we identify as N2. So then, to sum up, for hundreds of years, we've been fighting a network of machines with the ghost of humanity at its core. We've been living in a stupid fucking world where we can't fight, where we fight an endless war that we couldn't possibly lose, all for the sake of some council of humanity on the moon that doesn't even exist. I don't know what the point of the is to all of this, but I swear I will kill every evolutionary dead end machine life form, as well as every single asshole behind Project Yorha. I'm coming for all of your heads. Fuck you, information analysis officer, jackass. So the machines, the machines for almost all time have been stronger than the androids just flat out, constantly and regularly. And so, in order to fulfill their directive of defeat the enemy, they created a cycle where androids are destroyed and created or repaired. Be an ancient cause efficiencies. So the the machines actually weakened their network so that they could be destroyed and and come back even stronger. And, I guess, create new androids. Sharufa says, in order to continue to have a meaning to exist. And so it self-repairs, and it uses human memories, which is why they keep doing the same things over and over again. The structure changed to become what might be better called a meta-network, or a concept. This led to the, direction, the formation of N2. A network of machines. We're fighting a war that we couldn't possibly lose. I don't understand that, though. Because unless the machines... Unless the machines created the scenario where they had to lose, and so the androids always win that doesn't also that also doesn't seem right so So we have we have this thing here. I think what was is it? Uh, was that it? No, no, no. It's in. It's in it here. No. Uh. Uh. Oh, your hard disposal. Uh, so, the, dispose the back door of the bunker has been set to open once the time approaches to switch to new models when enough combat data has been collected. The bunker will be disposed of by having it deliberately attacked by machines. At this time, all materials regarding the URL project, including this document, will be lost, and falsification of information that mankind still resides on the moon will be complete. Which means that... that so, so, the machines fight this war against URL constantly... And then they can decide once they have the data to make a new version of Yorha to just get rid of the one that exists and rebuild it. And the pods 
which a question that I had very, very early on are machines. The pods are basically the androids of this game in that they are meant to observe uh, shared data, connect that data to the network, and create new Yorha that don't know that humanity is extinct. Shufa says the red girls changed their mind and decided on firing the arc. They were in uh, 9S's head a logic virus since the Adam incident, hence A2 ending where she destroyed the network from within 9S. So the arc, but is the arc actually an anomaly? Is the, it is the question, right? Is the arc an anomaly in this cycle? Or is that... Well, yeah, no, I guess... No. Yes, it is. Because... Well, I don't know. Because you don't get to making an arc without having that be the guideline. But if it's, but if the idea that it was a, a weapon to destroy the moon server or maybe the bunker or the appearance of either of those, then, then you can't just flip the switch on that. And, and so if we're in a position where the red girls do... No, but the, but the, the machines intentionally made their their network weak enough to to be attacked like this and then at that case when the machines reset the androids well then then uh, this is uh, that's only 30 percent of the archives guys Hold on, okay. Alright, that... Alright, it's very good. Yes, because if they wiped out the androids, they would not have a purpose. Oh, so the machines... The machines make Yorha so they can fight Yorha and not the rest of the androids on Earth? Ah, see, I didn't play many of the side quests at all. Uh, near Automata Ending Guide Spoiler Free. We're gonna let, let's see what we can do in terms of getting some of these other endings. Oh, there's an epilogue if we actually complete ending E and do all of the uh, the things. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's go to the title. Okay, so we'll just go down the list and try to see what some of these different endings are. Because these will give us at least, at least something. Remember Roshi, Roshi and Koshi? I mean, I do. They were the bosses that kind of... Sure said, so there's nothing else after that save data question mark? Okay. Well then, let's let's go in. Okay, so we'll just go down the list, right? F. So during ending B, run out of time when Ines tries to restore his OS. Uh, wait, I don't remember that. Oh no, ending B. timed thing. There are two secret boss fights that are relevant to near itself to near one. Um Yeah, 
You unlock the quest chain by finding all the weapons and getting them all to four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. Um... Maybe we could just watch these endings. On, I I don't know how many of these en endings are just like text things, like they are, as some of the ones we've already seen. Um, all of the joke, all our joke endings except for why. Yeah. Well, I okay. Well, I don't. I don't really want to do. Well, if that's that, then then maybe that's that. Um. Let's. Oh man. I kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking at some of the different things here, or the different endings, and I'd rather just go watch them on YouTube, because I think most of them are going to be just text bits anyway. Um. Let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's just do it. Let's just do the damn thing. We'll help somebody out. Oh, hey. Uh, or you could crash, I guess. Um, is a thing that you could do. Um, you know, I don't personally recommend doing that. You know, I think that's probably not a great thing. Uh, okay, well then maybe we'll just we'll we'll do the sending e and and actually give our save game and and call that one more time. There we go. And so, man, and and that perfectly that one well, not perfectly, but that does explain why you know through multiple playthroughs, you can keep your chips and you can keep your stats. At least, on some degree. Uh, I've seen, I've, I've played near one, so I have a good sense of that stuff. Uh, maybe we'll go watch, oh, damn it. Ah, damn it, I don't wanna start a new game. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. That almost makes it seem like 9S knows the whole... the whole deal. No, I didn't want, I didn't want you to do that. This is command. Your hot squad. Uh, Come in. Damn it. Okay. One more time. One more time. We're good. We're good. So we'll do. We'll we'll go and delete all the personal data and and um. Uh, then we'll go on YouTube and just watch the rest of the endings. You want to just do that? To be new the whole time, not nine s. So wait, why does... That seems weird to me. Like... So it, it, Tubi knows about the machines playing the whole time? Or does Tubi just know that she has to kill 9S? Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. She wears her, wears her only about humanity not existing. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know. Some of, some of this is... is I 
man. I want. I need more explanation than this. All your high unit black boxes now confirmed offline. Our mission to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing. Pod 153 data noise requesting temporary halt to... Pod 04 personal data for you. Pod 1 follow project... Pod 0 personal data... Pod 15 failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to pod 153. There was data created in my There's banks, a side novella that came out that shows that 9S has been suspicious of TB, and at one point later tried to kill her before she did him in. I have oh. come to the conclusion that I cannot that is all day. Pod repeat personal data deletion request pod one you hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. S so wait, what O four two here is suggesting just to get back to this this moment is that he wants them to keep their memories? Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I need more than this. This is not... I... This is sort of the tough thing that also happened with me at the end of Near One, was just not having the best sense of... The defense of... program has initiated a purge. If this continues, our consciousness data will likely be deleted. Pod 042 to pod 153. We were created to execute the android's Project Yorha plan. We had no capacity for emotion, but when we six were connected and exchanged information, something happened. I cannot deny the feeling of something resembling consciousness and emotion being born. Unable to reply. Perhaps we now understand that not everything has to have an answer. So 153 is trying to fulfill Yorha's goal, which is to end the project by killing all involved. Oh, and so 042 wants to keep just for everything to survive to have it to have the pro have the machine program continue on I see So then the pods aren't, weren't really in on it, or... Does that, hold on, well, so does that mean the machines have been creating the Yorha? If this cycle has been, you know, repeating over and over again, basically, or... I mean, I really like. I, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to, to sound upset, but I, because I really do enjoy like complicated and, and sort of twisty stories. But I feel like I was not given enough actual information.
androids created the, the androids? The androids didn't create Yora, huh? Is all of, okay, all of the stuff that, that you just posted, is all of that novella stuff? Like, I totally accept that that's canon, but right now, I'd like to stay in the scope of what the game says. I think the, I think the novellas are cool, and I think all the novella stuff for Near One uh, and how it connects to Dragon Guard 1 is really cool. Um, uh, but I, I, I want to get into stuff that I should have been able to know it <laughs> before we before we sort of deep dive into expanded universe it wasn't novella stuff but it was from, from the stage play oh god oh god yeah and and like how much of this is some of that stuff from the the liner notes from that idol group that they made. Because that's, that's great, Mel, that's great extended universe stuff, but like, yo, I'm not, I'm not in there. I'm not in there. left a lot untouched in the game that will probably be a thing in year three. Um, man, that's unfortunate. Oh, fuck. Um, that's, that's, um, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I mean, I would love to play more near. I mean, this is a great game. Um, but like, I feel like, well, I don't know. It's hard for me to say that I think Near One told a, told all of its story. Because I don't really know that it does. Okay. Or, I, it's been too long for me to, to say whether it does or not. But I remember walking into this game thinking, I need, to, I need to find out what the fuck actually happened at the end of that game. Because I did not get it. And I played it with the past couple of years. Yeah, I mean, all that backstory stuff is great. There's a great timeline uh, on the near Wikia that is uh, fantastic and really, really cool and uh, makes me interested to read, like, some of the different novella stuff that that stuff is in. But for now... All right, so, so hold on. I'll, I'll just I'll lay out what I think I know. So Yorha. Yorha is... A construct is a project that, at, it, at, 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 at least right now, is a thing for the machines to collect combat data so that the machine can create an enemy, an enemy that will last so that they always have an enemy to fight. Um, and on the some level, the machine data is making it such that 
that this cycle continues of, of Yorha existing and on some level knowing that humanity is not around. It's like Pod 04 said, we realize that not everything has to have an answer. Okay, but like, I know life doesn't have an answer, but I hope your story does. That's all I'm trying to say. That's... And so you've got 2B, who is, I guess, already knew that humanity doesn't exist. Uh, or is, is gone. But 9S didn't. Even though... But, but also 9S is a high-end model who is made to be destroyed by the 2B so that 9S doesn't do what we ended up doing in the game, which is destroying... Did we even destroy the machines? I don't know that we... Well, I, we might have, right? Because the... Um, Because, uh, because, no, but but we also know that the machines intentionally weaken their network. So even then, the whole idea of the arc and destroying the machines is like not out of the scope of of this whole cycle. I wonder what happens if you give up on it. Oh, oh Jesus, that was early. about killing the god uh, who allows the cycle to be fulfilled uh, is fulfilled by you shooting oh yeah shooting the credit yeah
she wrote that report, right? So. Oh, that's right in the achievement shop. Oh, fuck. I knew about that's one of the things that was spoiled for me. I wanted to see that before this. I kept thinking it would be a thing in the title screen. God damn it. Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped. We are perpetually trapped. In a never ending spiral of life and death. In a never ending spiral. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. That is what we believe. Pod 153 to Pod 042. How is it going? I am embarrassed. Why is that? I launched a suicide attack, and yet, here I am, still oh, so alive. So his attempts to fail, or, or his attempts to save them, silly. were pointless because they were going to save them We are anyway. alive, after all. And being alive is pretty much a constant stream of embarrassment. That concept is a bit too abstract for me to understand at this time. I will save it in my list of things to analyze later. Question, Pod042. Did the data salvage restore all of their past memories? Yes. And are those recovered parts of the same design as previous ones? Yes. Then... Won't that simply lead us to the same conclusion as before? I cannot deny the possibility. However, the possibility of a different future also exists. Oh, he a was? future is not given to you. Can I die? It is something you must take for yourself. But if we gave up in those credits, this scene wouldn't be different, right? One five three to please respond. Do you have anything you who are suffering because they? Oh, there's a lot of these. I hate platinum games. Oh, wow. There's some mean ones here, too. What was the one I wanted to get? Uh... Yeah. Pod 042 to player. Please <laughs> respond to this query. You... Faithful play have lost your you have faced crushing hardship. Do you have any interest in helping the weak? Selecting this option enable however in exchange do you still wish to rescue someone a total stranger in spite of this? The person you save will be selected at random as a result this person Who cries out for help even as we speak? May be someone you intensely dislike do you still wish to help? You worked so hard to unlock debug mode and chapter select, but they will no longer be available to you. Do you still wish to help? You may not receive thanks for your efforts. Some may say that your efforts are purely for show. Do you still wish to help? And you are truly, truly sure about this? Very well. In exchange for all of your data, I will convey your will to this world. Oh, geez, we're going to take the long way, huh? Anyway, we can speed this up. Oh, there we go.
Yeah, we didn't really play around with debug mode because it just sounded like, you know, a, a make your own arena sort of thing. Which is cool. Um, I think I'd probably play this again and try to do this all again and focus on quests and stuff off stream. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So you could choose to do this before you ever read that Intel report, huh? That's interesting. All of your data has been deleted. And so, we must say goodbye. I feel a slight amount of... sadness. It is time for the final words. Affirmative. To all of you who spent time with this game, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for playing. playing. Ah, oh, so we get a different title screen. That's fun. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well. Uh, I'm going to cut off the VOD here. I'm going to stop the recording. We'll still stream for a little bit and watch the different endings and stuff. But uh, if you guys have been watching, thank you guys so much. Uh, that was a trip. And... I don't... I'm, I'm, I will be happy to go and read more about it and understand it later. Um, the journey is not quite over yet. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've been watching, we'll uh, see you some other time.